Hi, welcome back. Right, last time we installed the uh, EZ1 onto this uh, shoulder rig. What we're going to do now is a lens setup or calibration. And that involves synchronizing the movement of the motor with the uh, movement of the lens rings. Uh, what I'm gonna do is push the two uh, focus preset buttons, one and two, and hold them down for two seconds. So we'll just do that. There we go. <clears throat> and now we're getting a single flash every two seconds on the light to indicate that we're in focus setup mode. And the function of these three buttons now is the first one will set or release a minimum travel limit. The second one will set or release a maximum travel limit. And the third one uh, can be used to uh, reverse the motor direction, depending on your preference for the motor rotation. Okay, now, in order to do the setup, what we want to need to do now is to move the motor to a home or known position. So I'm going to rotate the knob fully anti-clockwise. As you can see there, the motor turns. And now the motor is also fully anti-clockwise, and that's as far as that will go. The next thing to do is to rotate the lens ring fully clockwise. From the end, we're going to turn that fully clockwise. And there we have the infinity focus point there. So that's essentially the limit of travel on the focus ring. Okay, so what we can do now is to actually engage this gear at that point. It's going to engage the gear there. That's engaged. Okay, so now we've got the motor set to its infinity position and we have the lens ring set to its infinity focus position and the, ge the gear is engaged. So there we are in the infinity position. I'm going to rotate the focus knob and as we can see the focus is going to a nearer focus. And that's as far as it will go and that is at about a little under half a metre. So we've got a focus range without setting any limits. That's to say the motor is using its maximum range of movement. That's giving me a focus from about infinity to a little under half a meter or 18 inches or so, which is fine for my purposes uh, for the moment. The only other thing then is to decide whether the rotation of the knob is to my preference. So when it's fully anti-clockwise, we've got infinity. And when it's fully clockwise, we've got near focus. I'm going to set it so it's the other way. So what we do is we push the third button once. And now the motor's turning the other way. So what we have now is I've got fully clockwise gives us infinity focus and fully anti-clockwise gives us the near focus position there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So to save those settings, a long press on the third button there will save those settings and return to normal mode. The light's now stopped flashing, so it's back in its normal mode. And there we have it, the focus servo set up. We need to now set the zoom servo up. Very similar process. Uh, we put the unit into zoom setup mode and to do that, we push the button number one and button number three together and hold those for two seconds to put us into uh, zoom setup mode. I'm gonna push button number one and button number three for two seconds, hold those. Get a flash on the light. And now we're getting a double flash every two seconds just to indicate that it's in the zoom setup mode. Right, what we need to do now is to do a similar thing with the zoom servo. Um, so what we'll do is I'm going to pull the joystick down. As I move it there, you can see the, the uh, servo moving. I'm going to pull the joystick down and the motor's stopped. So that's at the 
limit of travel for wide angle. So whilst that's at its maximum travel there, I'll do the same with the zoom ring. We move that to full wide angle and I can now engage that gear. Like that, I'll just nip that up. Okay, so we've got maximum wide there and as I push the joystick up, we can see that the zoom is operating. But what we need to do now is to set a limit of travel. If we just have a look here. Okay, so that's wide angle. As I push the stick forward, we can get up to our maximum zoom. Now, I don't want it to travel any further than that. If I push the stick up further now, the motor will try to drive that uh, ring beyond that 70 millimeter position. So what I need to do is to push one of the limit buttons to do that, which is around here. Uh, we want to set a maximum travel limit. So that's button number two to set a maximum travel limit. So I'm going to just push that once like that. And now with a bit of luck, if I push that stick up, nothing happens. That's as far as that motor will go. If I pull it down. It should come back. Full wide, full zoom, and I don't need to worry about the motor driving any further than that because that's its programmed limit. So there we go. That's that set up correctly. The motor rotation is correct. That's to say, uh, push the stick up to zoom in, pull it back to zoom out. If you preferred it the other way around, I can just push button number three here and that will invert the operation of the motor. So now when I pull the stick down, it goes out when I push the stick up, it, it zooms out. I'm going to have it the other way around, so I'm going to push that again. There we go, so that's back the way it should be. Full wide, full zoom. And as long as I'm happy with that, then again, a long press on button number three will save those settings and it will go back to normal operating mode. So I'm going to press that for two seconds. And there we go. Stop flashing. And that's it, pretty well set up. And I have a uh, full zoom range available on the joystick here. Push it up slowly, it zooms in slowly. Push it quicker, it moves quicker. A little bit of noise from the motors you can hear there when it's moving quickly. And the focus, <coughs> we've got a focus range available now from infinity there to about 18 inches there. So there it is. Okay, so that's it set up and calibrated. Okay, all that remains to do now really is to check that the remote control works. Um, got the EZ1 remote control software here. We're just going to connect to the unit and make sure it all works. Okay, turning on Bluetooth, there we go. Uh, that's the one, connecting. And there we have it. Now I have control over the, the zoom. I've got a power zoom slider here so I can move it slowly up or more quickly. or we've got the direct control here. I can actually just pick that up and move it at whatever speed I like, or I can just tap a position to give us a sort of a snap zoom function there. Okay, that's the zoom. And the focus control, obviously, this big knob here, which, as you can see, just operates the focus control there. We have a couple of preset uh, functions here. Uh, if I so I wanted to save that as a preset position. I'm going to press and hold that. Up comes the preset dialog. We can set the transition speed on this slider here. We'll make it slow. Save that. And I'll save another one over here. Long press on there. And we'll have that a fast transition. We'll save that. So if I want to recall the previous position, that moves there. If I want to recall the second position, We've got a fast transition and a slow transition. 
Uh, I can also just set manual markers. There's a marker. There's another one. And there's another one. And I can set those anywhere I like. They are not recallable, they're just purely for visual reference. Just one other thing, there is also a uh, preset for the zoom. I've got a full wide angle there. Let's just set it to a nice slow zoom out. So if I zoom in and press the zoom recall, as you can see, that's now slowly moving to that position. We'll do that again. Move that out manually. And we can operate the focus and everything else while all that's going on. Okay, so there it is, the EZ1 installed and set up on a shoulder rig. Next time we'll have a look at uh, configuring it with a three axis gimbal, whereby we'll then be able to control the pan, tilt and roll as well as the focus and zoom. And until then, thanks for watching.